Sir Sean Connery allegedly launched into a foul-mouthed tirade at a Michelin-starred chef during a meal with Line of Duty star Martin Compston. The Bond actor, who died in 2020, was dining at Edinburgh Call with the fellow Scots actor when he reportedly rolled his eyes and lashed out at a chef who was attempting to describe the luxurious meal he had cooked. Martin recalled the 007 actor as being intimidating and said that he had a presence about him. Speaking on his podcast, Restless Natives, he said, I was at a dinner once with him at Edinburgh Castle and it was one of them ones where the chef comes out and describes the meal, and Sean is standing at the front. This poor lad is going this is a big honor from me in terms of where I've started and you just hear him, Sean, go off or F just get on with the effing story son and serve the food. This poor five-star Michelin chef in front of you just crumbling whilst Hess going through a menu, with Sean rolling his eyes at you. Hess an intimidating big guy. Despite being considered one of the best Bonds of all time, Sean Connery famously hated the role and claimed he wanted to kill 007. I have always hated that damned James Bond, the Scottish barn actor famously once raged. I'd like to kill him. From fights with his bosses to battles over pay and deep-rooted privacy fears, Sean's relationship with the franchise was a love-hate one. When the runaway success of Dr. No turned him into a global celebrity, Sir Sean was not happy about the sudden interest in his life, and it was reported he felt he wasn't being paid enough and demanded more money, only to be met with a flat no. The row boiled over during the making of You Only Live Twice, his fifth film in five years, when Sean was photographed in the toilet. Outraged. He is said to have asked producer Albert Cubby Broccoli to up his pay to compensate his loss of privacy, but when Broccoli refused, Sean walked. With his reported demands for £745,000 for a sixth Bond film denied, Sean was replaced by George Lazenby in 1969's Her Majesty's Secret Service, but the film was not a hit with fans. Desperate to lure their original star back for Diamonds Are Forever, execs were given a blank check and Connery secured a salary equivalent to £29 million plus 12. 5% of the gross profits. But Sean donated the entire amount to charity, and then reportedly refused to be on the set at the same time as Broccoli. It been, messed, about too much on other Bond pictures. There's so much bulls that comes from bad decisions being made at the top, he told The Guardian.